my home is here in Boulder. You know, I've grown up here. I've made so many friends. And this family I'm living with, I really consider my own family. And uh, they've been more of a family to me than anybody really has been to been to me. So I would consider this home instead of Taiwan. As a kid that young, you really don't have a choice of where you're going to be raised and uh, where you feel like is home. I feel like an American. This is my home country, but it's not. He wants to be an American. He is, he is an American. There's, he's a thousand times more American than he is Taiwanese, you know. It's like, we have someone who can contribute greatly to our society. Just, you know, why not just help and let him stay? I don't know how kids like that uh, live their lives on a daily basis and still you know, get up and go to school and have friends and all of those types of things when they have this hanging over their head. I couldn't accept any scholarships, um, no grants, no loans, no financial aid. You're different in all aspects of life and everyday life. I guess you gotta just wake up every day trying not to think about it and just go on as if if it was normal. The hard part is, for me has always been the hate. Why do people hate for no reason? I mean, why would you hate someone when he had nothing to do with the fact that he came here? Nothing. I am moving back to Taiwan, where I was born. Um, it's been 20 years, and I really don't know the country at all. I, mean, I was born there, but I was there for four years before I came to the States. As far as the reading and writing, I'm illiterate. I don't, I don't know how to read or write in Chinese, so that's another big obstacle I'm going to have to learn. What do I want to say to Chi? You know, good luck, obviously, and wish him the best. He's got a lot of innate talent and, and brain power. Hopefully he can look at it as an opportunity like we did when we were young and we moved. I know it's hard for him to think about, you know, it seems like that's what's, that's his, that's his life. I mean, that's what's happened, and I guess he's going to have to go with it. <laughs> Can't dance again. Yes. You know, they're part of your family, and when they're gone, they're gone. It's part of your family's gone. So there's not like a characteristic, it's just an, kind of an essence. That's a person in your family that's no longer going to be able to be at Christmas, be at Thanksgiving. They're just gone. <laughs>